The monumental church of Assumption of Blessed Virgin Mary is the Zagreb Cathedral. It can take more than 5,000 people. It has been undergoing renovation since the 1980s. The church contains many traces of Croatia's past, such as the gravestones of Croatian rulers and martyrs. The marble Baroque pulpit was created by the Slovenian sculptor Mihaljo Kusa in 1696. This inscription is written in the ancient Croatian script called the Glagolitic script. It commemorates 1300 years of Christianity in Croatia. In 1997, the grave of Blessed Aloysius Stepinac was put above the crypt of Zagreb bishops and archbishops. This beloved archbishop is now a candidate for the fourth Croatian saint. The cathedral is not only a site of memories and masses, but also a venue for other events such as concerts. It's described by the concert organist Edmund Adler Boric. I regularly play in Croatia, Europe, Russia, South Africa, and the United States. I also manage organ events in Croatia. I've been managing an international organ festival in Sisak for four years. We also want to preserve and maintain organ traditions. Now he has organized the festival of the Zagreb Cathedral Organ with free admission. This is the biggest organ in Croatia, built in 1855. In fact, for a while it was one of the biggest organs in the world. The organ has 78 registers and more than 6,000 pipes. Tonight is the third and final concert. It is played by Edmund's teacher from the academy, the renowned Croatian organist Lierka Ocic. She will play a classical organ concert with the works of César Franck and Franz Liszt. I have been playing here often for the last 20 years. It is a wonderful instrument, ideal for tonight's program of romantic music. The pieces of Frank and Liszt are virtuoso pieces, written for such an instrument as this. Ocic played at more than 1,300 concerts all over the world. Every musician must constantly increase their repertoire, especially for the organ where you would need 15 lives to play all the compositions. Now there are many talented young people among my students. It's a renaissance of organ playing in Croatia. Ocic describes the organ as a powerful instrument that spreads its energy to all areas of one's life. It may be the most direct mediator between the human and the divine. <laughs>